big three points we managed to get in the end. We really had to get in the end. Criticism for Matic today, criticism right. for Pereira, yeah. criticism for Mata. Mm. Uh, is that why maybe those players shouldn't have started? Would you prefer to see the yeah, youth? I think the whole midfield is too slow. Coming forward, building the attacks are way too slow. Mm. And in the summer, that's that's who we should have spent on the midfield. Because Pogba, what can he do with McTominay, Mata, Pogba um, and Pereira? Mm. They're just too slow. You can't build you can't build attacks from a, a slow midfield like that. Look at Chelsea, um, Arsenal, Liverpool and City. They've all got really fast midfields who can build attacks. Bernardo Silvers, mm. Chibayas, all them sort of players. We haven't got that calibre of player just because they didn't invest in the summer. Mm. And, and again, so you're looking at it like you're looking towards the owners, you're looking to why the hell have yeah. we not strengthened in that key area of yeah. the park because we can't control games, especially for long parts of today, especially scoring look, early, we just can't control the, the game. Because they've not, not invested enough, Woodward is not invested enough. Mm. This summer it had to be a massive rebuild, I think you, you would agree. Mm. Real Madrid, they've done it, mm. big teams have done it, mm. but United, they just missed out. Three players, the, the good additions, James, Maguire and um, who's the one now? Uh, um, uh, Wan Bissaka. Wan yeah. yeah. But we should have got five or six players. Mm. I know you might say it's unrealistic, but we're Man United, we're mm. the biggest club in the world. Mm. You've got to go out there to get the big players. Because if you want to reach them levels, top four, challenging for titles, mm. then you've got to get them players. Because this season, if, if you be honest with yourself, getting top four is totally unrealistic. Totally re unrealistic. Mm. I think this season you're looking at a sixth place. Mm. Sixth place, may maybe maybe below that. Maybe worse, it yeah. just depends how consistent we are throughout the season. Mm. And in games like today where we're going to play better teams, like West Ham, that'll be a struggle next week. Mm. If Pub and Martial are out, then there's going to be there's massive holes in the and team. Arsenal at home after that. After the, hard, the, the, the difficult games are coming. There is, mass there is massive holes in the team. Mm. Uh, whether Wood was going to strengthen in January with two more signings, I don't know. Would Looking you, at Declan would, Rice and whatnot. Would you, what do you make of the top end of the pitch? You spoke about the midfield. The do you trust that like the likes of Rashford and Martial can get us 20 goals? When, when my guy from America was just talking now, mm. he said about Rashford, number nine, he, he, he cannot lead the front. Mm. He not lead the front he's not physical enough he doesn't have that presence and he's not going to bag you 20 20 30 goals a season mm. you're living in dreamland if that's going to happen mm. you need to get a proper striker proper goal scorer and a proper midfield that's what you build your team off our defense is looking all right for now but going forward there's just nothing mm. when, when you want to build your attacks from the midfield onwards there's nothing there's nothing there we had no link didn't we there was yeah. there's no there's no nothing yeah yeah yeah, I think it was a, re a real drab performance if you yeah, analyse the, it. The, sub the substitutions, because I, I agree with a lot of what you're saying, yeah. the substitutions in terms of us trying to t turn our, our negativity or lack of creativity into even, creativity, even, even, was that was the, the changes right? I know we've got youngsters, but you've got to get players who can who can build a team round. You can't just bring in Greenwood, Chong, Gomez. You've got to have, you've got to have play, some good players to come through. Mm. Even like Liverpool and City and Arsenal, they've got, they've got some proper well, players. Arsenal, Arsenal, right, Arsenal, right? They've got Willock and all them mm. players. But they've got Chibayos and they've got, they've got some real quality around them so the young people can get in the team and, and, and shine. But it's just the youngsters on their own. They've, they've not got any players to guide them. No leaders out on that pitch, no anything. You're going to see throughout the season that, that we're going to struggle. It's, got, it's going to be it's going to be like like next season, last season, but mm. it could be worse, could be better. It depends how consistent we are. That's we have to understand it. that it's going to be that 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 roller coaster. Just to finish off on on Solskjaer. Yeah. Where do you stand with how he's setting us up, the direction he's taking us in? Can you see a direction? I, I do believe in Solskjaer because he's, he's getting them traditions into the club. He's playing the way that United should, you know, going forward, counter-attacking football. But as Rant said in, the, in your show the other day, you can't play that football with the team that we've got because we don't, we don't dominate the play. Even today against Leicester, Leicester had, half, Leicester had half of the ball. But um, I do believe in Oli because um, he's playing that way. But... The Wood Woodward right is totally to blame here because he promised Oli, when he appointed Oli, he promised him a thorough rebuild. Mm. He promised him a thorough rebuild. And how can he build a team around what he's got? Mm. How he just can't do it. Even if you brought in like a, a very good manager now, like Allegri or mm. someone like that. They're, they're gonna, gonna inherit they're, the same crap. Yeah, 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 they're gonna struggle. I mean, I don't see how anyone's gonna do much better. I know Oli tactically is he, he is a bit naive, he's you know, he's in management he's quite starting out, but but I think I think if you believe in him, you give him some tra transfers, you give him some players, you give him a proper proper solid squad to work around. Then we're going to get there in the end. But you just need to stick with him. Maybe bring in a director of football like a Van der Sar or a or a what do you call it a real a real good mm -hmm. tactician, you know, within the team. Because feeling, it doesn't it doesn't really have that to be honest. Mm -hmm. Somebody who 
understands and knows modern football. So, but I believe man of the match, Mali, definitely. Stay, man of the match today, hundred percent. Uh, man of the match, Wan Bissaka. He won everything yeah, from the back. But going forward, he does need to improve a bit. But happy with the, happy with the winning. Nice one, bro. Right. Nice one, friends. Talking to us. A big thank you to you guys for watching our latest video. If you want to check out more, make sure you do so right here. Keep checking us out, the biggest Manchester United fan channel in the world, over 500k subscribers deep. Make sure you follow on us across all the socials, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, all along here. You guys know what to do. And most importantly, make sure you subscribe. Peace.